Hello, it's me Zezri. Now, as always, before I start my video, I need to clarify some things about my last video. Why is this becoming a pattern? Am I that unclear? Is that how I sound to you guys? I just feel like no one understands me. Basically, in my last video, I commented a bit about how I disliked BTS's new song. I despised it. I absolutely hated it. And of course, armies took that and assumed that I hate BTS, which I never said. Here's a picture of me at age 11 at the BTS Love Yourself concert in London. I hope that's enough proof to show that I don't hate BTS. I was technically not even hating on them because the song was written by Ed Sheeran and their voices are so auto-tuned that it doesn't even sound like them. So I might as well be hating on Ed Sheeran. I hate. Ed Sheeran. Anyways, let's start the video. If you don't know, I am Kazakh, which means I'm from Kazakhstan. No, I am not Kazakhstani. I'm Kazakh. Get it right. Us Kazakhs are talented, prideful individuals. You can obviously see that Kazakh people are great because I'm Kazakh. Other examples of Kazakh people include Dimash Kudaybirgenov, that one guy from Yuri on Ice, and Borat. So as you can see, Kazakh people are amazing. Speaking of Borat, if you want me and my Kazakh friends to react to Borat on my channel, get me to 100,000 subscribers and I'll consider doing it. By the way, thanks for getting me to 50,000 subscribers. We're halfway there. But to all great things, there is always a dark side. Not all Kazakh people are as great as me. For example, this insanely homophobic guy. <laughs> is burning rainbow puppets because they are gay? <laughs> but there are also, some may argue equally as bad, Kazakh TikTokers. <laughs> Kazakh TikTokers are becoming insanely popular on TikTok recently. So popular that you may even know them, but you may not know that they're actually Kazakh. For example, this girl. Did you know that she's Kazakh? But Zezri, isn't she Korean or Russian or whatever? No, she's half Korean, half Kazakh. Then why does she speak Russian? Because Kazakh people speak Russian. Don't Kazakh people speak Kazakh? Well, some do, but most Kazakh people know Russian. I mean, I can't even speak Kazakh. It's because Kazakhstan was occupied by the Soviet Union for quite a while. Oh, well, why isn't she wearing the hijab if she's from Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan is a country with freedom of religion. The most popular religion is Islam, but not everyone is Muslim, and most people who are don't strictly abide by the rules. Kazakh people love to drink, but they draw the line at pork. Oh, so are you a Muslim? No, I'm an atheist. But you're Kazakh. Get out. So, Borat? Get out. Anyways, yes, she is in fact Kazakh, and she actually lives in the same city that I'm staying at for the summer, so Koma, if you want to collab, my DMs are open, I say as I'm about to make fun of her. So Homa or Khamyak, which means chipmunk in Russian, has 26 million followers. Jesus Christ, she's like the Charlie D'Amelio of Kazakhstan. She has more followers than the whole population of Kazakhstan. This girl is representing my nationality. Let's take a look at the type of content she posts. What you know about rolling down in the deep end? I have... I have depression. Yeah, I'd also have depression after embarrassing myself that badly. So your old friend was a gorilla. I mean, hell, I'd be sad too. Losing a gorilla is very tragic. Was your friend Harambe by any chance? A 
Okay, you get it. Standard TikTok crap. Just as a disclaimer, I'm not hating on these TikTokers in any way. This video is more of like a funny one. So don't take everything I say super seriously. In all wellness, I don't actually care if these Kazakh TikTokers make TikToks because it doesn't affect me in any way but it does affect some people quite a lot because this girl has gathered sort of like a cult of people who just hate her like genuinely despise her why well it's because of videos like this you are my best friend my only best friend you make me happy best friend and guys are best friend so this girl's whole appeal is that she's cute. Her facial features are naturally baby-like, but it is admittedly weird for an 18-year-old girl to be making videos like this. Most people are mad at her for her weird facial expressions, which I do admit are quite annoying but there are a lot of people who are criticizing her for acting like a baby when she is in fact an adult my stance on this is that she can do whatever she wants her audience is mostly children but there may be that little percentage of greasy old men who get off to this type of content i'm sure she's not making these videos purposefully to gain this type of audience but it is something worth noting <laughs> is a part of the YOLO house, which you may have heard of on TikTok. You know the hype house? Yeah, that dumb thing that everyone forgot existed. Well, Kazakh people looked at that and decided that they were gonna make a bunch of Kazakh hype houses. So there's Beep House, Echo House, and the most popular YOLO house. Fun fact, none of them actually live in houses. They live in apartments. These people are lying to you. So the YOLO house consists of Homa, Raidis, Batir, Adelia, Renzi, and whoever that guy is. So we already talked about Homa, but let's take a little look at the other members of YOLO house. Ой, в общем, в любой непонятной ситуации я всегда делаю пап. Зачем-то. So this guy, Raidis, he's like the part frob of the hype house, I mean YOLO house. so cute yeah in my opinion i don't see the appeal of this guy but all of his five-year-old fans find him super hot what you notice about these tiktokers is that they generally all make the same content so there's not really much to talk about when it comes to it however i feel like a part of the reason why this guy is so appealing to little girls is that he claims that he's korean like a lot like he made at least a hundred videos just saying that he's korean and they seem to get quite a lot of attention here's an example of one men usually get fetishized a lot because of k-pop and this guy is no exception i mean most of his comments are comparing him to jin from bts and personally i think jin is way more handsome hey stop it and i don't know why but i have a feeling that he's not even korean now i could be a hundred percent wrong on this take but i don't know it's just that he looks kazakh and i don't know if raides is his real name but that's not a korean name but also he makes so many videos just saying that he's Korean that it makes me kind of suspicious. Also, this is his sister. And let's look what she has to say about her nationality. So she's a quarter Japanese, which would make him a quarter Japanese. But he said that he's not Japanese at all. kind of suspicious i think i'm looking too deeply into this he's probably actually korean and i'm just crazy aside from him there's also rendi and adela and they are in love i don't know why but adela is my favorite she just seems the least annoying and i have no other reason for her being my favorite and her boyfriend rendi really likes walking Yeah. 
Yeah, that's pretty much what 90% of his content consists of. Speaking of relationships, the YOLO house loves to stir up some relationship drama. There's a little love triangle forming around Homa. Who does Homa love? Raides or Batur? Obviously, this love triangle is fake and it's just played up for the little five-year-old children to gush over. And it seems to be working. This love triangle gets a lot of attention. When you look at Raides' or Batur's posts, you will definitely be able to find comments about Homa in every single video. But anyways, as cringe as their content may be, they seem to be thriving and doing well and I don't really have a problem with that. So I don't hate them. But there are TikTokers that I do hate and we'll talk about them now. Echo House, the worst TikTok house ever, ever, ever. Get it? Echo House? Ah, so funny. This is the only Kazakh TikToker house that is situated in my city, which is just great. So obviously, like most Kazakh TikTokers, their content is really cringe. I don't usually have a problem with that. I do have a problem with them stealing their cringe content from other cringe content. Literally, every single one of their videos are directly stolen from Beep House, which is another cringy TikTok house. Just take a look at this. So this girl from Echo House, who's wearing braids, kinda problematic, is directly copying this video made by former members of Beep House. So yeah, they pretty much just try to copy Beep House. Not only that, but one of their members, which god I hate him with such a burning passion, he's a creep. He's just a creep. Just take a look at this. So this guy just cannot makes hundreds of these types of videos. You want me? No. You want me? I mean, no. You want to hear it in Spanish? No. You want me? You want me? Yes! I want you, baby. You want me? No. You want me? I mean, no. You want to hear it in Spanish? No. You want me? I mean, no, you want to hear it in Spanish? No. You want me? You want me? Yes! So this guy wants a girl who's as young as 13 and weighs as little as 35 kilograms. I mean, he's certainly not lying about wanting a baby. I want you, baby. Sir, you are 17 years old. It honestly disgusts me thinking about how this guy just walks around in his life and thinks that it's appropriate to post crap like this. Like what? How is this okay in any way? Daddy. Oh. I don't want to end this video on a sour note. So let's end it on a good one. I want to talk about my favorite Kazakh TikToker. A Kazakh TikToker that I actually respect and I want to shout him out. Now this guy, wannabe teacher, is an actual teacher and he's trying to educate children on TikTok who may not have an access to proper education. And he makes some really entertaining educational videos on chemistry and he uses anime to make his videos more interesting. And I know that a lot of kids my age just love anime. 
including me, I love anime and so I naturally really liked his videos. For example, here's my favorite video of his. <laughs> He's explaining chemistry while singing the best anime opening of all time. This guy's a legend. In all seriousness, I really respect this guy for what he's doing. And if you speak Russian and want to know a bit more about ke chemistry in a fun way, then I'd urge you to check out his videos he definitely deserves more recognition but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video it wasn't really that serious i just thought that it was interesting how kazakh tiktokers are so popular in mainstream media especially since that's the country where i came from and it's pretty fun to see some representation out there from time to time that's not borat because that's really the only representation that we usually get <laughs> so please don't send any hate to any of these people well except this guy this guy sucks. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week.